Hello people and welcome. Today we are briefly going to look at boundaries. Boundaries. You know, we set boundaries. We will tell you to set boundaries in certain things. Set boundaries in maybe the kind of friends you keep, the relationships you keep, and then allow people to violate your boundaries. And when they do that, you should punish them for that. <laughs> yes. Do you know you can set boundaries in everything? And it's very important to have boundaries, not just in one thing, in everything in your life. Choose the kind of life you want to live. Don't just go doing whatever everyone else is doing. Certain things are not meant for certain people. There are some things that others can be doing and that you cannot do. You can't do what everybody is doing. And particularly if you are someone who is following, someone who has become awakened, or someone who is following the path of awakening, or who wants to be more connected to yourself, your divine self, or uh, whatever, whatever power that you pay allegiance to or you believe or trust, you know? But if you want to pay allegiance or you want, if you believe in God, really, let me just say God, you believe in God. I know people believe in different things. Some even believe there is no God. People, some people worship different things. But if you actually believe in God, you are following the path and maybe become awakened to the truth and you begin to follow that path of truth, you have to set boundaries. In fact, your life will just be about boundaries in everything. You set boundaries in everything, even the way you eat. Because there are certain things that others may be doing that you won't, you won't be allowed. Because if there is that guidance, maybe you are awakened and you are following the guidance of your true self, your divine self, the truth, you know? And um, you are being constantly guided. There are, so, there are things that others will be doing that you can't do. There are relationships that others will keep that you will not be able to keep. You see? There are certain foods that others will eat, and especially if you are just waking up. If you are just waking up. That awakening experience is something that... Uh, there's just no how you'll be able to explain it. It's something that is better experienced than explained. You see, because of many things that comes with it. Even food becomes a pro For you to eat, it's even, it's even a problem. There are certain foods you won't be able to eat. Like me, when I was just waking up, I couldn't eat egg. I couldn't take milk. There are, you know, many things I just couldn't eat. You know, when I try to eat egg, I will throw up. Like someone, like a pregnant woman. I'll drink milk, I will throw up. Because uh, there was this cleansing going on. And so I couldn't take many things. So it's the same thing. It applies to our own daily lives too. There are certain things that you will not be able to do if you are following the path, the true path, and you are being guided. There are certain foods you will not have to be eating. Just like you won't eat certain foods, there are certain relationships you will also not keep. It's the same thing. It has to be the same with the kind of people you engage with. It's not everybody you engage with. It's not everybody you should be, be telling your life or things or your plans or the things that you are to do or the things you are doing to. It's not. There are certain things you should keep to yourself. There are certain, it's not every place. There are certain places you shouldn't go, even if everybody is going there. There are certain... Always, always follow your guidance. Tune in to your intuition and know that those things you can do there. Before you do, don't just do it because other people are doing it or because that is what is it, or certain like certain um, dresses that that people wear, you know, some people practically go go nude just because they want to follow the, the trend. It's not everybody that can do that. If they are doing that, you look at who you are. Because if you are following this party, you are not like every other one, everyone has, no. There are certain things that you can wear, and there are certain things you can't wear. If everybody, every, everyone else is doing it, doesn't mean that you have to do it. There should be boundaries. You set boundaries in everything in your life. Set boundaries in the way you speak with people, the things you say about yourself to others. 
and the kind of information you expose yourself, you know, things that you will listen, the kind of music you want you listen to, the kind of um, activities that you engage in, all these things you have to set boundaries because it's not everything you have to flow. As everything is going, you don't have to go with it. Go with the flow divinely. Don't allow yourself or expose yourself. Just put yourself out there and begin to follow whatever every other person is doing. It doesn't have to be that way. Just be yourself. Stand on your truth and do what feels good to you. Not because everyone else is doing it. Do it because it feels good. Do it because you are comfortable with it. Do it because you are following the right path. That is where you will be happy, you know, when you set boundaries and follow your true path with the things that you, you naturally, you know, move that, that you move towards. Things that resonate deeply with you, that are true, that are natural to you, and you feel comfortable about them. They are the things you should do. That's the path you should follow. Not the world, the world, not the world that operates in the world that is full of lies and deception. Go within yourself and follow your true path. Do the things that are uh, comfortable to you. Things that you know are right for you and they are true. I hope this helps.